Tree House. I am so excited to be with you today as we continue our series, Footsteps to the Cross. My name is Matt and I'm one of the Tree House leaders here at the Oak Church. People who know me say that I am loud and I am happy. Today we're going to be learning about the Last Supper, but before we do, we're going to play a game. All you need for this game are some cups and a small ball or object. Why not go and get those now? Arrange your cups into a cross, stand back and see who can get the ball into a cup. Want to see me having a go? Today, we're going to be learning about the Last Supper. Before we watch it, I want you to collect something very precious to you. Can you go and get something that's really special? Maybe it's a favourite teddy or a cuddly toy or a doll. Why not go and get it now so you can have it with you for the rest of the session? The Story of Easter, The Last Supper. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms. <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. The disciples asked Jesus where he wanted to eat the Passover meal that night. Jesus said, as you go into the city, a man carrying a pitcher of water will meet you. Hello. Follow him. At the house he enters, say to the owner, uh, Hi. The teacher asks, where is the guest room where I can eat the Passover meal with my disciples? He will take you upstairs to a large room that is already set up. That is where you should prepare our meal. The disciples found everything to be just as Jesus had said. Later that evening, Jesus arrived with the 12 disciples. They sat down to eat and Jesus said that he was happy to be with everyone. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. He said, take it, for this is my body, which is given for you. Jesus told them to do this to help remember him. Then he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. And he said to his disciples, This is my blood. It is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. Jesus said, One of you eating with me here will betray me. He told them that things were supposed to happen this way, but that great sadness would await the one who betrays him. The disciples were very upset and asked, Am I the one? Who is he talking about? Judas asked Jesus, Am I the one? And Jesus said, You have said it. 
One of the disciples asked Jesus, Lord, who is it? Jesus said it was the one who he would give the bread to. He gave the bread to Judas, and Jesus said, Hurry and do what you're going to do. None of the others at the table knew what Jesus meant, so Judas left at once to betray Jesus. Then Jesus comforted and encouraged the disciples. He promised them that they would have a helper come when Jesus was gone. They all sang a song to God together. Jesus' disciples were very precious to him. Just like the object you have next to you right now. And the meal was the last time they would all be together before Jesus died on the cross. So before Jesus died on the cross, he had a final special meal with his disciples, his friends who he'd been with for years and years. Jesus knew he was going to make a big sacrifice for his friends and for the whole world and for me and for you. And he wanted to give his friends something to remember him by when he wasn't with them. So he gave them the bread and the wine that they were eating and drinking that night. So whenever they ate that bread and drank that wine, they would remember all about Jesus. And now the bread and the wine, they're symbols that help us to remember Jesus as well. And actually, when we get together and we eat the bread and we drink the wine, it, we don't just remember him, it's actually a way that we can meet with him for ourselves too. I'm just going to take a couple of seconds to pray now. That's talking to God. If you want to join in, you might find it helpful to close your eyes or put your hands together and concentrate on talking to God or however you want to do it. And at the end, we're all going to say a big Amen. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for these boys and girls and all their families. Thank you that you love them so much. Thank you for your son, Jesus and that he died on the cross for us, and then he rose again from the dead. And thank you for the last supper that he shared with his friends before he died. Thank you for the bread and the wine that can remind us all about Jesus. And thank you, God, that you want us to be your friends too. And because of Jesus, we can be. Amen! Okay, boys and girls, it's time for our activities now. And as we do our activities, I want you to think, what would it have been like sitting in a room with Jesus on that night? What would you have said to him? What would you have been thinking? Can you create this Last Supper 3D model? Using a box, brown paper, and make paper chain dolls to represent Jesus and his disciples. Make for yourself a menu for the Last Supper. You could make this look old by putting tea bag water over it and letting it dry. What do you think would have been on the menu during Jesus' last meal with his friends? Or maybe you could create a menu of your favourite meal. Can you try baking bread? You'll find yeast in your activity packs to help. This may take some time, but it'd be a lovely reminder of the Last Supper. Don't forget the bread represents Jesus' body and how he died for us. Boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed today's session. I hope you have loads of fun doing the crafts. And do send in any pictures you've got of you and your family enjoying the activities so we can celebrate together. Maybe you can try playing the game again. Imagine you're playing it with Jesus and his friends as they're all enjoying time with each other. If you're new and want to get in touch and find out more, please email us at hello at theoakchurch.co.uk. We would love to hear from you. On our website, theoakchurch.co.uk, we have loads of resources for kids and you can find out all the details of how to get involved with